Blanket flower is an easy to grow perennial which has daisy like flowers uh, in a mixture of yellow, orange and red colors. They are also known as Gillardia and they have you know a few uh, dozen varieties. Uh, they are pretty much maintenance free once uh, the plants establish and they are also drought tolerant. They can grow in any kind of soil, you really don't need any fertilizer uh, and they require a lot of sun. So I had these flowers growing and uh, once they finished blooming I collected their seeds and then I planted those seeds and that's what I'm going to show you today. Last year uh, when my blanket flowers were growing in the summer you know I collected the seeds and now it is springtime so I want to sow these uh, seeds. So here I have a planter which has good drainage at the bottom, it has a lot of compost, some perlite, some cocoa peat. So uh, compost gives it uh, the nutrition, perlite uh, uh, gives good drainage uh, to the planter and uh, cocoa peat keeps uh, the medium moist. So you want that because you don't want uh, to water it too often. And now I'm just going to take a few seeds and just scatter on top like this. And I always like to put more seeds than the saplings I need. For example, if I wanted 10 saplings, so I'll probably put some 30, 40 seeds because not every seed grows, especially when you are collecting the seeds yourself. So you want to just put more seeds in here. If too many grow, then you can always uh, just give it to your friends or family or just thin them out. And when you are transplanting, transplant as many as you want. When you are uh, collecting seeds at home, you have so many of them, even if you know some of the saplings are wasted, it's no big deal. So now I'm going to just uh, cover it with more soil. So these are, you know, fairly medium sized seeds so probably half inch to a uh, quarter inch uh, soil is uh, good and then just water it thoroughly because for um, seeds to germinate they need two things one is uh, that they should stay warm and the second thing is that they should stay moist so uh, if you you have to keep this uh, medium moist all the time otherwise your seeds will not germinate and second is that they have to stay warm otherwise again they will not germinate so you know obviously I'll check every day and see if it requires more water and for warmth you know what I do is that in the beginning they don't need any sunlight because there's no plant growing no sapling growing so I always cover it and once the seeds start to germinate, then you should remove this tray because if you leave the tray there while the seedlings are growing and they stay in the dark, they'll become leggy and weak. So you don't want that. You don't want them uh, to grow too fast because they're looking for sun so they will grow fast and they'll be weak. So I'm going to leave this planter uh, in a place where it is warm and it will, I'll keep it covered and keep it moist. And as they start to grow, I'll keep you posted. It's been only two weeks and our seeds have started to grow. If you look closely, you can see those fuzzy seeds on the top of some of these uh, saplings. And uh, they're sitting outside uh, because it's summertime. And, but sitting outside, but in partial shade. So they get a lot of indirect sunlight of course and some filtered sunlight because they are under a tree and they are growing fine. So very soon they will be ready for transplantation. So our blanket uh, flower uh, plants or saplings have been growing well. They are like 5 to 6 inches tall and it's time that we transplant them because you know they are too... Uh, close to each other here so we really need to thin them out they will not grow well here so I'm just going to 
so uh, the soil here is quite moist because when you are transplanting uh, the plant you have to just make sure that the soil is moist otherwise the plants will not uh, come out nicely and uh, the other thing is that you should do the transplantation in the evening so i'm just separating out the plants here uh, you should always do the transplantation in the evening because then um, you know they don't face the direct sun and uh, they get some time to recuperate before the sun comes out next day in the morning so now i have pretty much separated uh, these uh, saplings so you know for this planter probably one sapling is enough but i'm just going to uh, plant many because sometimes you know uh, one sapling may just die and then you know i'll have to start all over again so I've just separated them out and then I am planting them in this planter. So the thing, good thing is that uh, these saplings are sitting outside so they don't need to be acclimatized. Otherwise you also need to acclimatize your plants uh, for the destination uh, when you are doing the transplantation. Because, you know, suppose these saplings were sitting inside, which is warm and dry and outside it is cold and humid. Then suddenly if you bring them outside and transplant them, they'll get a shock. So what you have to do is that you have to bring the plants outside, leave them uh, outside for a couple of hours, then move it inside or keep it in a shaded area. Uh, don't expose it to sunlight immediately. And once you feel that they are acclimatized, then only transplant them. So I don't think I need more than this. In this, I'm just going to put this back in here or maybe plant them somewhere else. I'm going to water them now and keep them in a shaded area for a week because uh, we have disturbed them. And as they start to grow, I'll keep you posted. About a month has passed and you can see that they have been growing very, very well. Uh, they have become bushier and, you know, the, the planter is full now. Now you can see that even the flower birds have started to appear. And they are outside in an area where they get about 3-4 hours of sunlight. and. Uh, I mean, three, four hours of direct sunlight and then indirect sunlight all day long. And look at these plants now. They are about four feet tall now. And look at all these birds. And this is you know half open and this is fully open. Looks so beautiful. And so many more are coming. And this gets about four hours of direct sun, you know, um, midday sun. So you know you have to water it quite often because this planter is small. It's about 10 inches in tall and 10 inches uh, in width. So and it had about three plants, I think three to four plants. So I'm sure they have grown a lot of roots and I had to water it quite often. Otherwise these leaves, they kind of start to flop. But other than that, you know, it's pretty much maintenance free and uh, to propagate you collect the seeds after they the flowers dry up or you can divide the roots um, you can also deadhead the flowers so to promote uh, new growth so i hope you like this video if you have any questions leave a comment and i try to answer as soon as possible if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family and i'll see you next time happy gardening bye